Okay guys, so we're making a video here today on just a little collection of what we've uh, acquired and gotten this year. And we're just gonna do one every year. So since there's only one month left in the year, we thought it was a great time to do this. So let's get right into this video. Okay, so we're gonna get right into this video with uh, the main, my main rig, which is decommissioned right now and in pieces because it's getting a lot of work too. I got some parts coming in for it to finish this up, but one of my main gasket sets is on back order until next week, so they'll get it shipped out. They said they got a new batch coming in, but here it is. It's a 2011 F-150. I've had this thing since uh, sophomore, junior year of high school. It's been awesome truck. It's Little 3.5 Eco Boost. So here's a here's one of the turbos out of it right now. I'm putting new gas uh, manifolds in it because the manifolds break a lot on these. <laughs> so it's one thing that um, you're gonna have to deal with if you own one of these. But it's been a fun truck. It is a FX4 package, but I'm gonna be putting all this Gen One Raptor suspension in it because I want a Raptor and what better way than to make my favorite truck in the whole entire world become a Raptor. So I just threw some new Morimoto headlights in it and I've just been doing a lot to it right now since it's in the garage. It's a good time to get a lot of stuff dealt with on it. But uh, coming back here to our beautiful bike. I've had a couple bikes over the years but this one is from my uncle. <laughs> Victor is laughing because it's such a dinky bike. But <laughs> My, my uncle had this when he was 16, and his uh, grandpa bought it brand new. So it's a 1982 Suzuki uh, Exciter. It's a 185cc bike. It goes 70 miles per hour. Currently, I blew out the back tire right at the end of the season, and I mean, there's no point in riding it in the winter, so I haven't put a new tire on it. I'll deal with it in the spring, but this thing is like... Two gallon tank, eight bucks to fill up. It gets 75 miles to the gallon. It's fun to whip around on. It's pretty peppy. It's like kind of, since it's a smaller bike, it's light and it's just really fun to ride. And uh, yeah, had a couple bikes over the years, but this, this thing has been reliable. I haven't had to do anything to it. I just, now I gotta do a new tire, but yeah. And then this right here, it's kind of covered in a whole bunch of stuff right now because we've been doing a lot of workout at the property and we always unload the truck and load it up. We just set the stuff that goes in the truck right here on the back of the four-wheeler. But um, this is a 2012 Polaris 400. Um, I've had a lot of four-wheelers over the last couple of years and my latest one that I sold was a Polaris 700. That was EFI, it was a 2005. That thing was a beast, loved it. But uh, now, well, I had this, well, I had that one, but now we have this guy, and this thing's been really, really reliable. It's a little workhorse, uh, use it around the property a lot, but yeah, plan on selling it here soon and buying something a little newer, a little bit bigger of an engine, maybe like a, a 570, but we'll see, we'll see. But definitely gonna have to say goodbye to this soon because it's time for something new. I've had it too long. Whenever you have something for too long, you gotta get rid of it and get something better. Before it breaks. <laughs> or, or the thing is, this needs some work of some maintenance things that are coming up, but you see, if I sell it, I won't have to be the one working and doing that kind of stuff. But it's not like I'm ripping somebody off because it's a beautiful four-wheeler that runs great right now. It's just maybe in the next 1,000 miles, it's gonna need some more work. So it's time for me to let go of it and pass it on to the next guy so he can enjoy it. Okay, this is a little bonus one right here. This is my dad's truck, actually, it's not even mine. The 1998 F-150, it's, it's a tank. I love this thing because my dad bought it brand new and I learned up driving on it and would take it on trips and all my first few couple projects, I'd always tow with this thing. So I just love it and I never want to get rid of it. It's gonna be here, it's gonna be in my life for like ever. It's gonna be like the truck I put too much money into, the restore that shouldn't be restored. So coming over here, we got my 2005 Mustang. I got this thing for a thousand bucks. Some dude called my work saying he wanted to get rid of it and it needed a clutch. It's a five-speed manual. It's got black leather interior. It's 
actually a pretty nice car. And uh, yeah, so I've just been driving this around since it is a V6. It gets really good gas mileage and it's fun to drive since it's a manual. And I plan on here, I should plan on selling it here soon though. And uh, getting some other things. So stay tuned for the stuff I buy. But this has been a cool project. I mean, you can't say no to a $1,000 Mustang that's in this nice of condition. So here's a yeah. little interior view. Sorry. <laughs> you can just look through the window. Yeah. It's just got nice black leather. No rips, no tears, no nothing. Yep, all black's nice. So it's an awesome car to have. I got new headlights I'm gonna be putting in it. Um and front brakes. Just new the little maintenance stuff and then I'm getting rid of it. So now we're gonna hop in this car and we're actually gonna go you oh nope, we gotta show him your truck. Victor Victor is gonna have his truck in this video. It's so dirty. Um, so this is my 2010 F-150 uh, Platinum. Yes, sir. I just got it in the last month or two, and I love it. He I, was, what were you driving before this? I was driving a 2013 Ford Fusion before this. Yep, hold okay. up, there's a school bus coming by, so we're gonna cut this clip. <laughs> so I, I, I wanted to buy a truck, because you know, I have a jet ski, you guys know that. And I wanted to go pull the jet skis, Maybe Justin, me and Justin wanted to switch off. Yep. And I, I, got, I also have a snowmobile and I wanted to be able to put a snowmobile in the back or just whatever. I just needed something to actually do things with. Cause I'm, um, you know, we just like to do the same things and he has a truck and it's very useful. So I wanted to buy it. It's, yep. it's not the, it's, it's a little beat, but I love it. It's a 2010, so it has its, it has its special characters here and there on it. But overall having a, having a truck yes. comes in handy when you're Thank doing you. the stuff that we do. And greatest thing ever. Cool. AC seats in a sunroof. Those are like my dream things on anything and it's yep. got it. Yep. And I'm very happy. That's like makes me just love this truck that much more. Mm -hmm. And it's in a cool red. And it's a very nice red, yes. Yep. I love the red. So we drove all the way out here to the storage unit where this thing's sitting. Don't worry, this is going in a shed for the winter. It was just here for Thanksgiving weekend since I had a lot of family in town. We had to get it off the road. But this is my 1973 Mustang. Uh, it been a pretty cool car I bought it not running it was a fun project to get it running it has a 302 v8 in it and then it has a c4 transmission which is just a little automatic transmission and I put a lower shifter on so it's been a fun car I've done a lot of fun things with it this, this thing kind of blew up on TikTok. it's like a 20 footer car I don't get too close to it you'll see all the imperfections in it but then coming back here this is just a lot of scrap stuff that I have and own it's kind of funny. I own both spots here. I own this one and this one. And I just park things at them here and there when needed. But here's a go-kart we randomly bought. <laughs> it's a piece of that junk. That we never did anything with. We, we were gonna do something fun with it. We're gonna make it into like a couch cart. We might still do. We have all the parts if we wanna do it. It's just we're waiting on time to do that. So we'll see what we end up doing with that. Mm -hmm. This is a part snowmobile. It has no engine in it, but it has a really nice track on it. And it has some nice suspension that I can uh, swap out because this is the kind of snowmobile I have. So the idea is if any parts break on mine or he has the exact same snowmobile too, we can swap parts off of this one onto ours. So it's nice having it. It's got good bumpers. Just a lot of just things that we can swap onto ours. So I bought it. It was like five, 150 bucks. It was cheap. And then this is Victor's jet ski trailer yeah. since uh, we we're got just, a double trailer. Yeah. We're just holding on to it because yeah. I think I'm going to sell mine separately mm -hmm. this spring. So yeah, that's then, what that'll be for. I like buying toolboxes because every trailer, I go through trailers like crazy and I always like throwing a toolbox on them. So just having extra toolboxes around never hurts. <laughs> so yeah, but we got to run to now the property, which has all the final stuff at it before it gets too dark. But that's where we're building the shed that we'll be able to store a lot of our stuff in and get rid of all these storage units, our outdoor parking spots. So let's go swing out to the property. Just arrived at the beautiful property. I did not bring a property key, so we're just gonna have to jump the fence, but let's go view it. Sunset's going right now, so we'll get a little clip of that as well while we're here. So as you can see right there, beautiful sunset at the property tonight. Absolutely awesome, but let's go look at the stuff. So right here, this is where a carport used to be, but we moved it over, the, over there and we made it into a shed, so that's pretty cool. Victor, so what are these? So, these are our jet skis. Yep, these are our jet skis. Should I uncover it? Yep, yep. So here's Victor's ski on the left, mine's on the right. We're gonna take the covers off real quick. Okay, right, guys. what do we got? This is my jet ski, my pride and joy. This is a 
<laughs> this is a 1996 Sea Dew GSX. This thing's an absolute ripper. Two stroke. Two stroke, 800 cc. It's a blast. I mean, there's not much more fun you can have for a thousand bucks. Goes like what, 55? Yeah, it goes, goes. I mean, it goes pretty quick for it, it is. It competes out on the lake. It I'll does. say that. I will say this. I try. I look at everyone. I try and race every single jet ski out there, and I'd say I'd probably beat at seventy-five percent of the jet skis. The only one yep. thing that beat me are like, like pretty much any other big other sea dude can beat me. Like yep. newer sea dudes can beat me. Mm -hmm. Or any other jet ski that is turbocharged or supercharged. Yeah, depending, anything that's like naturally aspirated, I can beat. Yep. Which is really cool. None of the, the gauges really don't work. All it shows me is my. Uh, RPMs, but mm -hmm. that's all I really need to know on this. But yeah, he bought this thing for a thousand bucks, and that shows that you don't need a lot of money to go have some fun. So that's pretty awesome. We ended up getting this double trailer. Well, we bought like six jet skis yep. over the summer, yeah. sourcing out a double trailer because it was cheaper to buy trailers with jet skis on them and then sell the jet skis off of them. And then we ended up with this thing. So we got this for after selling jet skis and all that. For 500 bucks i rewired the whole trailer not because i needed it because i like led lights but yeah now here's my ski so what we got here is a 2011 Kawas uh no 2011 <laughs> yamaha vx uh 110 so this is the vx deluxe i got this thing for 500 bucks with a trailer the trailer's over there but this jet ski supposedly had a hole in the bottom of it and the engine had water in it so this jet ski was basically totaled but I'm a little bit mechanically inclined so I was like well let's see what we can do with this thing so we ended up diagnosing it it didn't look like there was any water in the engine and the hole on the bottom it we put it in the water and it didn't take on water so it wasn't anything terrible so we ended up being able to get it fired up and did some basic maintenance stuff to it after that to get it ready for the lake and make it reliable and it was a blast all summer long and right here this is my favorite thing we did to it we installed a rockville sound system on it so here's the radio it's got bluetooth connection and then i put two uh six and a half speakers up here along with six and a half speakers on the back so this uh this spring when it gets warmer weather out, but our lake, ha well, our lake doesn't open till like May, end of May. So during the time before then, when it's kind of warm out, the whole idea is gonna be, I'm gonna do a little jet ski build on it. I wanna paint it all black, swap out the rear speaker inserts for the black ones and then put stainless steel screws because these ones started the rust. But uh, that's why I got black speakers in the front. I wanna paint this black and make it look super cool. So expect an awesome jet ski build this spring and uh then we're gonna use it all summer long we are going out what every single weekend of like, the summer yeah, we every, could. every single weekend yep. so or sometimes twice a week so it was super fun and we we love jet skiing we love the lake yeah it's, it's awesome. so awesome yeah so yeah probably gonna use this for one more summer and then depending on the financial situation i'm in i'm either gonna keep it and have friends ride it while i have my new rig or sell this one and get something better so we'll see but um yeah and victor is borderline maybe we'll sell it this spring and get something different or maybe we'll rip it again another summer we're both well i'm for sure gonna keep my one more summer but victor might swap out and get something a little nicer this spring we'll see we'll see what what it looks like we we're in college so we have a lot of classes but um we're gonna be working a lot more now so bigger budgets <laughs> <laughs> so now this is a boat i bought two years ago almost for 800 bucks <laughs> And it still has not been out on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Needed a lot of work. So we bought it, figured out the engine had a cracked block. So I put a new engine in it. I just got it running this fall. Well, we got it running last last fall, but then when the spring rolled around, this this spring rolled around, um, it didn't start. So I kind of pushed it to the side and then I got it finally running at the end of this fall. So. I got all the interior stripped out of it. It's actually laying way over there. And uh, I think I'm gonna contact an upholstery guy and just have him reupholster every seat for the front. I'm gonna buy some new captain's chairs for it. And then I wanna have some dude upholstery all the back seats. But what we have here is a 1993 Mariah. It's got a little inline four. It got filled with leaves from the tree it's sitting by. I'm putting this in the shed, so I'm gonna uh, sweep out all these leaves 
and pull it into the shed that we just literally built. Like I finished it like a week ago. So yeah, so that's why it looks so sad right now, but it did have a boat cover, but it ripped in half. So instead of buying a boat cover, I'm just gonna put it in the shed. So for the longest time, I, well, I've had a lot of trailers. I like to buy them, fix them up and then sell them. But what I'm on right now is I just sold my 16 foot trailer. That was a nice utility trailer. I bought this 28 foot trailer so that I can haul my stuff and all my friends stuff when we want to go do fun stuff together. So this is an old RV frame trailer and I'm basically going to be converting it to either a full flat deck trailer and painting it or I might make the front a little enclosed section with a little RV like AC unit in it and a little double bunk. So if we were to go camp somewhere we could have a little generator and have some AC or maybe a heater depending on the weather and how far we go if we can just rent a camp campground space so it'll be super cool it won't be like a full camper thing it'll just be like a nice little enclosed area if it's like if we're at an off-road park it's really dusty and it'd be nice to walk in somewhere maybe have a water tank we could wash our hands prep food and stuff so yep that that's that is about it for this trailer build so this is something i just recently got and it's just sat with all the materials for the shed and uh, now that we just finished up the shed, I can actually start modifying it and uh, making it how I want it. So. Okay, if any of you have been following along on the channel, you've seen that mostly all the recent videos have been on building this thing. It's been a ton of work, but I've loved every minute of it. But in here, we got my winter ring, I got this for free from a buddy. It sat in his barn for like so long, probably like five years or so. And I cleaned out the carburetors and did some other stuff to it and got it running and used it all last winter for the two snowfalls we had here in Illinois. And it honestly was amazing. But we're gonna take it up to Wisconsin this year and just rip around on the old uh, Polaris XLT. So- She's a ripper. Yeah, no, these things, they sound really nice. It's triple. It's, it's actually kind of crazy when Justin and I first rode the rode our snowmobiles. We, it was it was a big experience. It was a big experience because we like we didn't realize how actually fast these were. I mean, they're fast to us. I mean, yeah. But there it is, greasy triple. Sorry for how dark it is in here. The sun is fading on us. But, She's uh, greasy for sure. Oh yeah. I love how the air filter got stuck up with the thing. <laughs> it didn't stay on there. That's Same. actually hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be getting this out here in like next week or two. So we're gonna see if she fires up again. I, I summarized it, so it should ideally start right up. <laughs> yeah, ideally. But these things are so fun to go whip around in some ditches. Oh and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe make a make a trip up to the Sea Boys. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to keep buying old sleds. Just let us bring our old sled up for the challenge. They'll break it so quick. <laughs> this thing's they, 50, it's pretty reliable. Uh, the 580, 580. It's not a 600, it's a 580. Victor has the 600, but his is, in, his is at his stepbrother, so we can't show you that. You can look back in the channel and watch some videos. The sled videos are pretty fun to watch. We just watched one like a week ago of us getting your sled going right there. And then this was, okay, when I was little, I loved go-karts and I fixed up so many go-karts. Well, this was the final one I fixed up when I was little. So I'm just gonna hold on to this thing forever, but I wanna put a new engine in it. It's got a Tecumseh, that's a piece of junk. I wanna put a Predator in it and make a little go-kart track here at the property since it's six acres of lots of land that we can do whatever we want with. I think a pit bike track and a go-kart track would be ideally, but with college, and not working hardly ever. You don't got the funds for those kind of things, guys. So <laughs> we're, we're wrapping up this semester and then we'll be done and get our associate's degree. So then we can start putting money into the channel and uh, have a lot more fun. But this go-kart would be super fun and all my buddies would get go-karts and we could race around and make some cool videos with that. But yeah, here's the shed in all our glory, fully closed in absolutely amazing but we're gonna be throwing the jet skis in the boat in here and maybe hopefully uh my red mustang i'm gonna make them all fit 
I think the boat will go here, the jet skis will go here, and the Mustang, I might have to switch its direction and have it parked sideways. But that way they can be nicely stored away from the sun and the, the rain. So that is just a little wrap up of our little 2023 collection of what all we, we actually had a ton of stuff this year. Like we bought six jet skis. We had like three four wheelers this year. Victor was absolutely in love with my little 400 Honda. He's so mad I sold that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we just do a lot of stuff each year. If you want to kind of scroll through the channel, you get an idea of what we do. It's, it's kind of fun. It's, it's actually really fun. I highly suggest you guys get in the same addiction we have. But um, yeah, I just wanted to film this little video here so that maybe in one or two years, when we're looking at our 2024 or 2025 collection, uh, it's just a little motivation video. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye.